All right, guys, so uh, a few weeks ago, I did a review for the uh, Lomo 150 litre dry bag, which I love. You can stick loads in it and it keeps it bone dry, perfect. In the meantime, Lomo have very kindly sent me a, um, a pair of crash bar bags, which you can see here, which are absolutely, oh. well, I'm gonna show you a close up. Uh, we're gonna have a good look around the bag. Obviously you can see it mounted now. I'm gonna show you how it mounts. We're gonna show you what you can fit in it because it's all good and well seeing you know these are such and such a capacity but what can you actually fit in here to give you an idea of what you can pack and then we're going to give it the billy four rocks waterproof test with the stuff inside to uh, see how it looks so without further ado let's have a close-up look of these rather nice lomo crash bar bags mm. All right, so let's have a good look at the Lomo crash bar bag. Now, in case you didn't know, let me tell you something quickly about Lomo. What they do is they specialize in water sports luggage. So bags for like kayaking and canoeing and all that sort of stuff. So they know a thing or two about keeping your stuff dry. And if, it's, if the 150 litre dry bag, which I tested, is anything to go by, this is gonna keep your stuff dry, but we're gonna test it anyway. So a quick uh, run through the dimensions. We are looking at 29 centimeters when closed, uh, in height, sorry. Width is 21 and a half centimeters and depth is 14 and a half centimeters. And we've got closures on each side. Obviously it's a roll top. So you've got a buckle on each side and you have a buckle which goes over the top to make sure everything stays rolled down. Uh, they've got some nice touches which I quite like. They have a, this nice little buckle on the strap here which you just put your loose ends in, stops them flapping around. Um, so it's got a really nice kind of rubberized, it's quite stiff, it feels really tough. So these, these are going to be well up for the job. So we're going to have a look at one on the bike now. I'll tell you how it's attached to the crash bar. We're going to see what I've fitted inside the one that's already on the bike and then we're going to give it a waterproof test. All right, let's do that now. So the straps will run through the back of the bars there, over around the front and the top rolls down, buckles on the top and it buckles on either side as well. And obviously you can hunker it right down just by pulling on these straps and getting it nice and tight. So let's have a good look at what I've managed to fit in here. Bearing in mind I've still got room to spare just to give you an idea of what six and a half litres can hold, just give it an roll. So I've got my camping mug, I've got my big anchor charger, I've got my camping stove. I've got my head torch. I've got my snood. I've got my gloves. And there's more. And I've also got my big flask as well. How about that? All that in there. That's pretty good going. And like I said, there's room to spare as well at the top. So there you have it. So let's get this outside, give it a waterproof test. I'm gonna put my, what shall I put in here to test it properly? Um, I'm gonna put a bit of clothing in there. That way we'll see if it gets wet or not. Um, right, let's do that. That doesn't do it. I don't know what will. So 
just give that a good shake off. Right. Well, from what I've noticed in the past, you always get a bit of residual water from when you unroll it, and sometimes little drips can go inside after you've unrolled it. But if we be super careful, right, look, look how dry it is up there compared to down there already. So, I'm going to open this up. Can you see that? Completely bone dry. Let's get the jacket out, obviously. There you go. The proof of the pudding is in the eating, as they say. Completely dry. Completely bone dry. As I, I, as I thought it would be, to be honest. You know, this is what they do, this is what this company does. They specialise in keeping your stuff dry, basically. There you go. Lovely stuff. And actually, it doesn't just fit on your crash bars. It can also, as I noticed, you can also use it as a towel pack. Look how good that looks on this bike. That looks absolutely... Brilliant. So as a little sort of day trip out, a little packed lunch somewhere, or whatever. Um, yeah. How good is that? All right, there you go. Double usage. Right, all right guys, there you go. What do you reckon? I mean, they keep your stuff bone dry and they're as tough as old boots. What more could you ask for, for a motorcycle luggage? I love them. Uh, what, one thing I didn't tell you at the beginning was, uh, obviously Lomo are very kind enough to send me these two bags, one here and one at the back. But, which is quite fortuitous for you guys, is they sent me two extras by mistake, I kid you not. So, the one I just did a waterproof test on and this brand new one here. I've contacted Rob. Now, by the way, these are, are designed in, in the UK, in Glasgow. I contacted Rob and I said, was you supposed to send me four, uh, like two pairs? I only needed one, really. And he said, no, it was a balls up in the, um, what do they call it? The, I think the dispatch department. They sent me two extras by mistake. And I said, okay, I'll just send them back to you. I don't really need two pairs. And he said, instead of doing that, um, just do it as a giveaway to you guys or give them to a, a needy biker. So I'm going to do these as a giveaway. You could have these and all you have to do is make sure you're, make sure you're a subscriber to the channel leave a comment down below anything you want i'll pick out the weirdest or the funniest one doesn't matter where you live in the world i'll get these out to you free of charge and uh you too can have a really lovely pair of crash bar bags or towel pack bags depending on how you want to use them there you go guys take it easy see you soon yeah take care I love it, I love it.